Hey, what y'all do about that? Get your song. Get your song. Get your song. Roger Trout, man. And he's out. Hey. Yeah, back in old school. Anyway, so what's up, everybody? It's your boy. Gary back in the house once again. I started this thing on yesterday talking about our Cowboys, and I just so happen to call them the Dallas Desperado Cow Cowboys, okay? That makes sense, but it makes sense. And basically, our big situation today is again talking about Amari Cooper. Yeah, people probably want to call it old news, okay? We probably can't call it old news if that's what we want to do. But at the same time, it's still fresh on the dome, okay? And, uh, well, let me just say this here. Omari Cooper has touched down, and Omari Cooper is at the uh, facilities, okay? He arrived, I believe it was sometime today, and uh, reported. And uh, he's ready to go into work. Come to find out that this brother here was a, the number four pick in 2015. First round. Number four pick. Uh, also, come to find out that this brother here is a soft-spoken brother. Okay. Look at that. Here comes somebody. You know what I'm doing my thing, man. Look at that. I'm... <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me see. What, what you got, baby? Fine, huh? Okay. Okay, all right, so, okay, that's great news, honey, I'm glad, glad to hear that, even though I'm in the middle of filming and, and taping and everything, but it's all good, all right, thumbs up to you, but anyway, going back, talking about Amari Cooper, I'm recording, it's all good, but come to find out, um, I had a chance to listen to uh, Amari Cooper today, and, uh, you know, real soft-spoken brother, young man, 24 years old, um, uh, uh, real respectful. Seems like he's a pretty re uh, respectful young man. Uh, come to find out, because he's from Miami. Miami is one of you know Miami is his his favorite team. You know, in which that's 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 you know that's normal. That's cool. But uh, he also mentioned you know that he was ready to come get to work and start work and work hard and do whatever he can to help you know, be that guy, that number one receiver, that guy for the Dallas Cowboys. And that's great news. And um, basically, I say that, you know, uh, welcome, Amari Cooper. You know, I have nothing against Amari Cooper. My my problem was more with us as Dallas, Dallas Cowboy, uh, as the Dallas Cowboy headquarters, um, Taking that first round pick, I've heard some people say, "Well, that's against a good thing that you know we gave up the first pick. There's only one pick." Well, guess what? Guess what? We're gonna need that pick for next year, man. You know. But anyway, so what's done is done. Um, but it was also mentioned that you know putting all these pieces together, this is the final straw. I believe also that this could be the final straw. And what I mean by that, the final straw is saying that basically, okay, since we failed at the point to where we did not uh, capitalize on these undrafted receivers, undrafted, that means you went one through seven and wasn't good enough to make the top seven round draft picks. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven rounds. I think it's at 32 apiece. Add it up. That's a lot of people. And evidently they wasn't good enough. Why is my why is my camera doing that, man? My camera's tripping, y'all. Y'all work with me. Come on back. Okay, came on back. So yeah, anyway, y'all just uh, bear with me on this, but I'm trying to get this together. So anyway, so all of, this is what has happened. They have put all these pieces together to say to the coaches, okay, we're going to give you what you need because basically we're going to, you know, we got a stud in Zeke. We got a stud in Tyron Smith. We got a stud in Zach Martin. We got uh, uh, 
the rest of these guys that's on this front line. We got all these studs, and we got Dak, Dakota. I told you I called him Dakota. That's his name until he showed me what he can do. But right now, his name is Dakota. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so what's happening is we're going to put these pieces together. Now, once you, you got everything you asked for, I expect this, this program to be turned around. And basically, talking about this offense, this offense has to be turned around. So, no more excuses. But, that's the way they're looking at it. But, once again, I say this. Omari Cooper only replaces one of the four bad tires we have on this vehicle. See, because you've been riding on four Maypops. Now you done replace one may pop with one good tire that makes sense you know what i'm saying it's like instead of buying a whole set of set of tires you only buy one new one <laughs> sometimes yeah, i remember to be in this shoe boy look i paid 25 dollars for a tire when i that tire that tire was so bold in times like this and boy that your work I right, give me a 25 dollar tire put a tire i was young so that that's what it kind of reminds me of. You just because we still have other problems. I still think Dak, Dakota, Dakota Rain Prescott basically is not confident in himself. Okay, I really don't think he's confident in himself like he should be. And that's why he's it, it, not, not only that, but his accuracy is is his percentage is 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 shot. Um, you know, that's two issues right there. But then now you go back and you also look at the play calling. The play calling. I mean, if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm sure, man, y'all been watching, watching this, 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 this play calling. I really don't know if Linehan actually is scripting his plays. Makes me wonder if he's scripting his plays. But also, not only that, but then you have Jason Garrett, the crapping coach. Get a boy. Clapping coach. How long are we going to put up with that, y'all? So, we still have issues. I just, I welcome Amari Cooper. I welcome you, and I hope you do your thing, man, but I still got a problem. I don't know if Dak can get you the ball because Dak won't release the ball. And I think really and truly the coaches know that he's, he, he's, he's at a certain stage of his game and he's not fully arrived as being a veteran quarterback, in which I know it's going to take time to be a veteran quarterback, but he's not there. So good luck, Amari Cooper, man. I hope, you know, you you help pull this thing out, man. It will be a it'll be a great it'll be it'll be great to see somebody be able to stretch this defense. Really, we really need somebody to stretch this defense because I don't know. But not only that, but then our head coach, you know, our head coach just does not to me hold anybody accountable. Those penalties that we had is because you are not holding anyone accountable. They make a mistake. You know, the clapping coach. Now, you look on that defensive side of the ball, we saw Chris Richard. Chris Richard, man, I'm telling you what. Chris, well, y'all yeah, want something? Let me get this one. Hey, listen to this, y'all. Check it out. Just to give y'all a little bit of where them cute dogs at. Where them cute dogs at. But anyway, so Jason Garrett is not holding these guys accountable for their, their actions, man. But like I say, look on this defensive side of the ball. Defense is playing lights out right now because Coach Chris Rashad is holding everybody accountable. That's what he's doing. 
He's holding everybody accountable. And that says a lot for that defense to be playing the way they're playing because he's holding everyone accountable. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> you can't go wrong with some George Clinton on Atomic Dog. So, you know, um, so yeah, Mark Cooper, man, man, hey, welcome, man, welcome to the Dallas Cowboys, man, I hope they take care of you, but really and truly, I'm going to tell you something, all this that's, that's just taking place, this is going to be a test for Dak, because ne next year about this time, close, they're going to have to decide if they want to pay Dak, or if they're going to go a different direction, so Dak, Dakota, Rain Prescott, man, you have no excuse, bro. Man, I, I'm a big fan of yours, man. But man, you got to play ball. You got to ball out, man. You got to ball out. You know, you got you got you got to mix it up, man. Mix it up, man, and, and 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 just make it happen, man. And whatever is not working for you, man, you need to. You know, don't bite your tongue, but let. Those that are in charge, let them know how you feel, man. We need to make this thing work. So basically, I say these moves are the moves before ending Jason Garrett's career as a cowboy. These moves are the moves before ending Jason Garrett's career with the Cowboys. So this falls back on you, Dak. Dakota, Rain, Prescott, and Jason Garrett. Because Jason Garrett, you said Dakota, Rain, Prescott was your boy. So we're going to get you this number one receiver. Because y'all, boy, I'll tell you, you know what? That's so embarrassing. Y'all wouldn't get all these old, these, these non-drafted receivers, man. Deontay Thompson, man. Come on, bro. I don't know. Alan Hearn. I don't know, man. But y'all need to speak up, man. I don't care. But I, if it's me being a receiver, I understand. I play receiver. I know what it's like going out, man, hitting that, hitting that, hitting that, that vertical, man, that, that skinny post, man. And you turn around and you look back and this dude done threw it out of bounds or ran for five years. I know that, and that, I'm telling you, it's frustrating. That is frustrating. You, you take that, take that DB off the, off, off the line hard. You, you separate from, you cut in. And no ball. Man, y'all better speak up, man. So anyway, so Omari Cooper has a he had a bye last week. He has a bye this week, which is good. So that gives him enough time to come in and um learn the uh the uh plays by the Cowboys and uh give him a little time to uh catch up. So hopefully they put something together, man, that will um Help help this offense out, man. But they need to, they got to pull it up. They got to pull it up and pick it up. So anyway, hey man, I appreciate everybody coming through, man. Do me a favor, man. When you get a chance to view this video, man, uh, click on the like button, man, and subscribe, man, because I'm one of those guys. I'm diehard cowboy fan, and I'm just straight up doing straight on the corner talk, barbershop talk. You know, it ain't nothing. It's all unplugged. So, you know, leave your comments. But please subscribe. And I will definitely be coming back and updating you on the latest news and the newest issues or whatever. But uh, appreciate things going to get better. I'm working on getting my videos and everything together. So just give me a little time. Set it up. Have a little backdrop back here and everything. But uh, anyway, man, just appreciate y'all dropping by, man. And do me a favor. Make sure you subscribe to the, uh, the the site, man, and uh, uh, click on like for me, man. I appreciate all y'all, man. And hey, like we say, don't nothing come to a sleeper but a dream. Deuces.